Hi, I'm Vlado. We are going to talk this time about digital. Why do we convert analog to digital? What are the benefits? As you know, 21st century CCTV is all converting to digital. So what's the secret? First, immunity to noise is the most important part. That means analog signal converted to digital becomes more immune to noise. That's the first and most important thing about digital. Next is the image processing of the signals. That means once you convert a signal to digital, it's reasonably easy to process it, enhance it, do any kind of image processing. And of course, the most important thing for us in CCTV, storage of digital signals is much easier, transmission is much easier. So these are the key reasons why we are converting to digital. Because most of the cameras are analog, as we said in CCTV today, uh, the way to recognize that is that they all have BNC connector at the back. The BNC connector means that camera produces analog signal. Um, even if it is DSP camera, which means digital signal processing, uh, BNC appearing at the back of the camera means that that camera produces analog signal. Uh, so that signal is then going to be taken to analog to digital converter, which we're going to explain so you can understand that in the conversion, there are certain things and rules that needs to be understood. Um, but the significance of this is that that analog to digital conversion can happen in the camera itself, in which case we have, we're talking about IP cameras, or into digital recorder, which is actually what is the, the first stage of that digital recorder. Converting a video signal to digital in the past was not possible because it was expensive, it was complicated, and CCTV just did not have uh, money to allow for it. Today the electronics is getting faster, uh, the components are getting cheaper, so it is possible to convert to digital. Uh, and the problem is now to uh, basically understand that we do have a lot of data that comes out when the conversion is made. So, for example, if we take one normal video signal composed of 50 fields every second for PAL and 60 fields for NTSC and convert that live image to digital, we will produce a streaming data of about 166 megabits per second of just one video camera. Uh, and that obviously will be something to be very aware of uh, when we try to actually record that data and uh, process it in some form in CCTV, we're working with a number of cameras, tens, twenties, hundreds of cameras in some systems, if not thousands. It is not practical nor possible to have such amount of data, 166 megabits per second per one camera, to transmit and store unless we do compression. And this is what we're going to discuss in some other clips after this. <laughs> 